oh yeah, I'm excited for this. Prometheus. <laughs> that is the most grainiest thing ever. What? Why is this? Have I happened across something unlicensed? And it's not Prometheus, it's Prometheus. What is this furry shit? Wait. What the hell am I looking at here? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What have I happened across here? <laughs> Something tells me we're not in officially licensed police station uh, demo territory anymore. This is somebody's attempt to make Super Metroid with furries. Well, that's something I didn't think I was going to be playing today. Furry Super Metroid. Oh, this is so floaty and so... Yeah. Very floaty. When you land, you, like, move a few steps. And you land. Oh, what's this? Oh, that opened the door. <laughs> well, I tell you what, whatever this is, I'm not going to be cruel. I'm not going to be unfair about it because it's unlicensed. Clearly something like this is made without, like, access to official Sony tools. Need to get out of here, though. I could crawl! Metroid can crawl! Any way to see what's underneath me? I just have to hope and pray, I guess. I wonder if this was like pitched to a company. If this demo was brought to some dude's office. It's like, you're gonna love this, right? It's Super Metroid, but it's a hot furry Lima girl. Dude, you're gonna love this. You're gonna love my nuts. I don't know. This game seems a bit... I don't know. Furry? How dare you see that? <laughs> the weirdness I'm experiencing aside, this seems... Prometheus. Thank you for playing the... These are the people responsible. It would definitely help if you could see further than one foot ahead of you at all times. You know, if you could scroll the camera down so you could see what's below you, that'd be great. Rather than just landing on top of an enemy and being like, oh, okay. I guess that's it, huh? I wonder if... Uh, I'm going to get content ID'd on this music. It's fun fact, every episode so far of this PSP Palooza, not a single content ID claim. And I'm honestly shocked, because I thought I'd get one for that Final Fantasy game, right? 
And then I thought I'd get one for Luna. Nope. It'd be so funny if I get a content ID claim for the background music in this. The items, power crystals. Don't have any relics or any items. I wonder if this ever got finished. I wonder if what I'm playing right now is something that people thought was lost. Dude, I could be playing Lost Media right now and nobody would know. Be like, Prometheus! Prometheus, yeah! That was that game by that furry that went on to... Well, I tell you what. This is kind of refreshing, because everything we've covered so far is a real game. It's kind of refreshing to... to just pick a game at random and find out it's some, like, furry passion project. Enhanced by an icy core, your attacks may now freeze weakened creatures. Oh, it's the, um, it's the freeze beam. Do they unfreeze, though? Do they actually unfreeze? Or do they stay frozen forever? They stay frozen forever. Some of the enemy AI is a bit whack. But understanding that this is a work in progress. Am I going to have to look this up after recording and find out if this ever got finished? Because the developer of this might have gone on to make something like some like big name indie game. Oh, shit. Ah. Oh. I want to know what's up there. Do I want to know what's up there that badly? That could be like furry lemur porn up there. I want to see it in all its grainy 240p goodness. What the fuck? <laughs> the parallax scrolling doesn't work all this way up. If there was a man who turned into a rock when I shot him. So glad there's no fall damage. <laughs> so glad they decided not to innovate and add full damage to Metroid. <laughs> Yo, check it out! It's a giant crystal here! It's a puzzle. There's different crystals to shoot in this room. Shoot all the crystals. Got weird collision detection on them, but... There's a certain point where you just get used to that. You found a power crystal! You ha- Hold the attack button to charge your shots! Oh my god! I'm stuck. <laughs> I can charge my shots now! Well, I am trying to, like, rack my head over what this map layout's about.
It still does, at the moment, feel like the environments were put together just, you know, willy-nilly. But I also can't imagine that it's easy to develop for PSP with the hobbyist tools that this dev would have been using. Stop falling from the ceiling. That seems like a really good time. Next room. Yay, a tiny amount of shield that I almost completely lost. The only way to get my health back. Even in Metroid, you'd collect, like, energy that enemies would drop. Well, I don't want to sound too negative. I... I think this is quaint. Would I, based on this demo, play the full game? Probably not, but I think this is quaint. It's kind of charming in a weird way. It's got its fair share of, like, hidden secrets to find. There's moments of ingenuity in the level design, but most of it just feels like big rooms of nothing. Must get... Ah! Hey, get higher, 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 higher! Ah ha ha! Oh shit, no! Didn't want to go that way! Oh. Could have gone that way up. <laughs> I did it the harder way first. Oh, what's this? You discovered a map of the surrounding area. That feels a bit late. But hey, the game does have a map. I spawned right on top of enemies. <laughs> I'm still managing to jump around dead. Oh, man. Oh, thanks for the laugh. I needed it. Um, no, I wouldn't play this game based on this demo, but um, I hope this became something grand and amazing at some point, because I would I would hate for this to be all there was. <laughs> it's it's me. <neat. laughs> it's quaint. It's charming. It's it makes a nice break to the other demos that we've played so far. Until next time, if we live that long.